welcome to the lottery number generator um, I actually created this particular version of uh, number generator using a uh, visual basic dot net uh, one good thing about this very one is uh, I've actually incorporated a trigger function that automatically stops the generator okay so what I'll do next is to actually take you into the coding area and you will see how this particular program works I entered uh, a label up there and uh, six uh, text box with uh, two buttons so what I'll do right now is to actually take you into the visual basic uh, .NET development environment and you guys will see how I put together this program so let's go into visual basic dot net now yeah we're now in the development environment like I said earlier on is just a, a label and a six text box okay and uh, the property for the text box I've actually set the text property to 72 and I repeated the same thing for the rice text boxes there's also two command buttons and uh, I added six uh, six timers for each button and the, re the last timer here, timer number seven, I used that as a trigger function to stop the other timers at certain interval. It's been set to I think uh, 12 uh, nanoseconds. So I'll take you guys into the code for each of the timer you will see what I have done with each of those timer it's similar coding anyway so let me double click on timer one but uh, before I start on timer one right up there I declare two variables so I store that's the one that will store the 12 second 12 nanoseconds and then uh, I lottery that is to store my random numbers that is generated added my randomized function and uh, the integer value of uh, 0 to 49 is uh, assigned to i lottery and then uh, i lottery then assign whatever value is generated uh, into text box one so what I've done in here is just in case if text box one becomes zero one should be added to text box one so that's just to prevent uh, number zero from uh, entering the from showing up on the text box so the next thing I did was uh, for the button which is this very button here, the lottery number generator itself, this very button right here. When you double click on that button, it brings you here. So when I start the program, click on that button, what happens is it enables the timer and automatically assign 12 nanoseconds to I store. Okay, that's just what I did with that very one. The next button right here which is this one is just a restart button that's it you all know how to get rid of values in the text box which is no big deal now timer number two look at that timer number two it's exactly the same codes with timer number one that's timer number one right here and timer number two right there the only difference is the value that is stored is in text box two and that's it right there and the same process was just re uh, repeated for the rest four timers timer number three timer four timer five timer six okay as for timer seven what I did in there was subtract one from uh, 
i store so when i store becomes zero automatically all of this timer enable property becomes false and that's all there is to this uh, very program that's how easy it is you guys can do something very similar and now uh, even improve on it i will copy this code right now and just uh, save it into my share drive if you have any use for it just send it send me an email and i'll forward the code to you and do please subscribe and i'll see you guys later so let's run the program one more time and that's it guys so you all have a nice day now so i'm gonna leave you with that bye